and you're gonna get the, the dick. It's not a dick, it's an eggplant. Sure, sure. <laughs> you're putting it in backwards. In the that. tip. That's why it looks like a dick. Unless you want to touch the spark. Oh, oh no, please don't. Please don't make me do that. That is beautiful. <laughs> All on the beard. Did I ask? <laughs> Hydrating cocoa and shea butters melt as the night heats up, leaving skin kissed with the rejuvenating scent. Do you want to put the banana in the hole? Oh, oh god, oh god. Uh. Do you want a bigger bag? If I could! Yeah, let's get to a bigger bag. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time to my channel, hi, my name is Sarah. I make a lot of special fix tutorials, mostly around Halloween time, some beach hauls, and a little bit of DIY in between. For today's video, oh, that actually cracked. <laughs> For today's video, I'm going to be going over Lush. Lush Valentine's Day collection. I don't want to talk too much in this intro because, well, I don't know how long this video is going to be, so let's get started. Some kind of Valentine's Day overlay, go! So it's not as big as Christmas, but it's a decent amount. We also got a little bit of a heart on. <laughs> we got a bit of a Valentine's Day-esque inspired outfit going on. It's a little bit of a dress. You guys can't see, but it's a dress. Just trust me on that. So the first one I'm going to be getting into is the peach. It is called Peachy and it is a bath bomb. If you like big peaches and you cannot lie, this cheeky bath bomb won't disappoint. Pop it on the tab and it'll slowly fizz, releasing juicy grapefruit, fresh peach juice, and sweet divana as it goes. Lie back, swoon over the mesmerizing pink swirls of color, and emerge feeling peachy keen. Get that peach in the tub. This guy is the most requested and sought out bath bomb of this collection. It actually took me two tries to obtain this one. First time I went was, was literally the day it launched or I think it was maybe the day after, and it was completely gone. They said it was gone within like a couple hours of being stocked up, so super glad I got my hands on this guy. Not sure how I feel about the scent, to be honest. Next up, the eggplant. Another bath bomb. When worlds fail us, emojis save the day. So if you're struggling to find the right words for your Valentine this year, this fab fizzle will say it all. Deep purple waters with streams of green and blue set the scene. While uplifting bergamot, ho wood, ho wood, and zippy. <laughs> I can't even keep a straight face for this. <laughs> and Zippy Listy Gubeba keep their energy soaring. Keen on Amberdeen. Really not sure how I feel about this scent. Kind of thing about this one is the fact that they've actually had to state multiple times that it is for external use only. Let that sink in. Next, we've got Love Boat, yet another bath bomb. It's not any old boat, it's a love boat, baby. Head to the tub with this fizzy yacht and watch it zoom around, leaving groovy pastel colors and powdery sweet lemon orange scent in its wake. Sink into relaxation, then emerge with delicately scented skin and a brighter outlook. Don't miss the boat, this one's only here for Valentine's Day. I actually really like the scent of this one. All aboard! Don't know what it is, but I'm here for it. The scent floats my boat. I'm so sorry. I want to say it gets better, but it doesn't. <laughs> it just really doesn't. It is the Unicorn Horn Bubble Bar. Think into a magical silk filled with mythical essential oils, colorful pastel waters, rainbows, and dreams. Lavender, Elang Elang, and Neroli create a unique and uplifting fragrance as mountains of shimmery bubbles, leaving you feeling enchanted and as dazzling as unicorns themselves. Sweet baths are made of these. Get it? Because you're horny? That's gonna cause some breakouts on my forehead. Do it for the YouTubes. Next up is Eve's Cherry, a lip scrub. Put a cherry on top of your Valentine's Day experience with this sweet sugar scrub. Stroke over the lips. 
to gently exfoliate with castor sugar, then lick off the delicious excess. Not sure how I feel about that wording. Silky jojoba and shea butter settle into the lips for a soft, supple pout while cherry kernel, lime, and bushu oils leave you feeling and tasting fruity. All sweetness, no pit. Whew. That is really cherry y. Cherry y. That hit nothing vital. Again, can you tell what it is before I even open it? Avocado wash shower gel. Get all the benefits of fresh avocado without playing the dangerous ripeness game. I feel that. <laughs> Whole fresh avocados are mashed into this moisturizing body wash along with silky avocado oil for the softest skin. And its uplifting perfume, the coveted fragrance of our avocado co-wash, perks up your mood with bergamot and lissy cubeba oils. This is one avocado treat that's undeniably worth the hype. Get naked and have a go. I'm only gonna hold it for a second because this Oh, actually, this one is the naked version, which is going to be completely plastic-free, which I actually prefer. <sighs> this is on the same level as any of the Snow Fairy anything. I absolutely love the smell of this, and I have absolutely wanted to try the avocado co-wash that they have, but my hair does not do well with co-washes as it does condition and shampoo, but for some reason my hair doesn't go well with those, so... Right, massage bar. So Big Banana <laughs> is a massage bar. Size doesn't matter, it's what you do with it that counts. So this Big Banana is here to help perfect your massage technique. Gonna say external use only. Hydrating fair trade cocoa and shea butters melt into the skin as things heat up, creating a silky massage oil. Spicy clove bud oil and refreshing Brazilian orange oil stimulate the senses so you can keep the massage going all night. Fresh moisturizing bananas keep skin supple and heady, heady? A ling ling oil from a permaculture project in Ghana adds a little touch of romance. Vegan and meltable. Doesn't say external use only. They should really say external use only. Apparently nobody gets that. My, what a big banana you have. I always feel the absolute weirdest when something doesn't smell like what it, what my brain imagines it should. Like when, oh god, I gotta take this out of my hand. For the Christmas collection when the candy cane didn't smell like peppermint or mint or anything along those lines and the banana, I almost expected it to smell like those fake banana candies, but this doesn't smell anything similar. But my god, is that ever melty in my hand. Next up is American Pie, a body conditioner. If the state of your skin could be softer, look to the streaming body conditioner to moisturize and perfume in one swoop. Fair trade shea and mover mover butters unite for the most decadent dose of hydration while the delectable scents of fresh strawberry and vanilla absolute linger long after your shower is done. Use this gorgeous conditioner after washing up the shower and let your softness flag fly. Sweet as pie. American Pie has a slight almost like... Boy literally smells like nothing. Anybody else blend it doesn't kind of smell like pie? Put your hand up. Lush lied to me. Strawberry whip soap. If summer feels like a distant memory, don't despair. Fresh strawberry, geranium, or geranium and jasmine serve up the scent of spring. Moisturizing coconut oil, softening aga aga, and silken tofu and creamy fair trade organic cocoa butter soften with every lather. The carry ingredients in this vegan bar soap are a match made in heaven for wintry skin. So go ahead and suds up with this uplifting soap till spring finally arrives. Open your heart bubble bra. Unhook and unwind. This one I actually have heard from a Lush employee that it is called a bubble bra because it's in reminiscent of Lady Gaga's bras that she had or Katy Perry's bra that she had. It is a bubble rune. Open your heart and indulge in a cozy cardamom sandwich soak with this limited edition Valentine's Day bubbler. Golden plastic free luster creates a mesmerizing snow globe effect in the tub while fair trade cocoa butter and Murumura butter soften and hydrate head to toe. Again, I don't smell much from this, but the glitter, the glitter is on me. Love token, a reusable bubble bar. But this golden token is one of the best. A reusable bubble bar, this luxurious coin will deliver a generous amount of spicy clove scented to multiple baths. Warm their day with a cozy scent of homemade cookies. Evocative ginger lingers on the skin long after their bath's done. Of a token of appreciation. Not entirely sure I smell cookies, but I am entirely sure that I have far too much glitter on me to be okay with this right now. Alright, so these two go hand in hand. They're both called Six. One is yellow and pink and the other is yellow and green. They are reusable bubble bars. Is it six? Is it nine? With two possible colors, you can get one of each. 69. Let spicy clove bud and floral lang lang bubbles scent your skin, leaving you smelling saucy and feeling sexy. 
For multiple baths that just keep giving, simply hold your bubble bar under running water for big fluffy bubbles and set it aside for the next time your mood strikes. And literally the other one just states the complete exact thing. You're naughty by numbers. Polyamorous, a bath oil. Feel yourself in need of a little extra lovin? Promptly drop this amulet of amour in your tub and watch it dissolve into a flurry of romantic pink plumes. That's a mouthful. <laughs> mouthful. Slip into the bath and feel the skin-loving organic cocoa and shea butters work their moisturizing magic. Brightening orange oil combines with alluring violet leaf absolute and grounding sandalwood to put you in the mood. Then we have Adam's apple, a mouthwash tab. Get first kiss ready with this refreshingly fruity solid mouthwash. Cleansing peppermint collides with lemon and lime for a temptation worthy fling on the tongue. <sighs> well, fair trade organic aloe vera powder soothe the gum. The result? Fresh breath in a bushel of confidence. If you prefer a mouthwash with a zesty zing over an intense minty blast, these solid tabs are just your type. So it's uh, lemon and lime and then mixed with the mint makes a really crisp like apple scent. Wow. And this one foams instead of just being like a normal oh. one. So it makes it really easy, kind of almost like a drink. I love it. Mouthwash, really lush. Mouthwash for Valentine's Day. Wow, that's intense. It's under the category not so forbidden fruit. But that is it for today's video and I do hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys have a very, very wonderful and loving Valentine's Day. And just know that I appreciate all of you, every single one of you. I wish I could give you a big hug and probably a lot of cinnamon hearts for Valentine's Day. But that is it and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.